Hey there, Simplifiers. Welcome back to the Organizing ABCs, where we've made it all the way to the letter Y, which is for you are not alone. So today I want to discuss all the places and people that can help you get inspired or encourage you in your organizing projects around your home. First, for inspiration, I love to go places like Pinterest or Instagram to see what everybody else is doing out there. While it can sometimes backfire because it may discourage you that your home doesn't look like that or that it won't look like that, I do find that there are a lot of really great ideas out there coming from organizers or DIYers or moms or bloggers or vloggers. So many people have so many really great ideas and there is just a wealth of resources out there for you to get inspired, to get organized. My only caution is don't get so wrapped up inspiration that you don't actually do the work. <laughs> My second tip is to look for people that can encourage and help you in this organizing process. This could be a friend or a family member who really likes to organize or just sort of has a knack for things like that. Or if the person isn't good at organizing per se, they could help you by watching your kids so that you can do the work that you need to do like bagging up donations and taking them to the donation site or putting things into containers and putting labels on them. And if you feel embarrassed asking a family member or friend to help you, or if you just really want the advice of an expert, remember you can always look up a professional organizer in your area on napo.net. If you put in your zip code, they'll give you a list of professional organizers that are in your area, and you should be able to search by specialty if there's a certain area of your home that you really want to get organized. If you feel like your process is more complicated, that you have anxiety or previously diagnosed ADHD or OCD, you may want to look for a counselor and professional organizer through the Institute for Challenging Disorganization. Often you'll find organizers and counselors who will work together to help you in your organizing process. And you've made a connection with me now too, so you can email me with any questions you might have or for a recommended resource in your area. There are so many people out there that are available to help you get organized and stay organized. Just don't be afraid to ask for help. Thanks as always for watching, and I can't believe we've made it all the way to the letter Z tomorrow. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any more of my organizing ideas, like next month when we're going to talk about organizing your family in case of emergency. Be sure to stop back by tomorrow when we'll talk about the letter Z, which is for zones.